So now I figured there was no better way to tell the story of Piney Woods without the students, right? So you are a third generation student here at Piney Woods. What does that mean? It means that um, several people in my family have already come here and graduated. The first in 1999, the second in 2005, and now me, the third generation in 2024. Wow. So now you are part of the documentary. Yes, what was the process like with the cameras being here? And were you scared at any point in time? So I wasn't scared. I was just more just excited. Um, cameras would follow us around to school or I would wake up with a camera in my face getting ready for school and brushing my teeth in the camera and just talking to the camera. Just the camera was my best friend. Basically, it was with me like around the whole campus everywhere I went. And so it was just really surreal to just be, you know, my whole life. Well, my whole process of being here at school, being recorded and being captured. And it was just so it was just fun. But what makes it different from anything you've ever done before? And why do you want more kids and more students to watch this documentary? Well, it makes it different because any other school I've went to, we haven't had a real documentary and real cameras around us, like, following us. Like, maybe we had an iPhone or something, <laughs> but it wasn't, like, real. And so I would want people to watch this documentary because it, li it really captures the fullness and opportunity at Piney Woods. Like, Piney Woods is a sacred place, and that's why the name is Sacred Soil, because when we're while we be, while we were being recorded we we showed everything that we go through and everything that happens here and it's just so empowering so yeah, i would want people to be empowered well. so three generations again thinking about you walking here what do you feel when you're at, on the campus or at school every day what what's the whole vibe for you i love this question <laughs> i feel love. I feel empowerment, but most of all, I feel strength. Just knowing where we've come from, dating back all the way to 1909 to where we are. Um, it's a big feeling of perseverance. Um, all that we've had to go through from, um, like Dr. Carlton stated earlier, Jim Crow, um, segregation, all of it, and just to see where we are today on Hulu. <laughs> right. Yeah, see where we are as a people, as an institution. It's very empowering. And how does it make you feel as a director to hear these students say this, that we didn't pay to say that, you know, but also they're saying this in front of the world as well on Hulu? Well, no, and you have the right folks here because these young people represent what we do. Um, and in fact, what you will see in this documentary, which is available right now on Hulu, go watch it. What you will see in this documentary is the voices of young people. Um, when people come to this campus, um, and they want to get a tour or they want to see the farm, we give them to the young people who are here and they take them out and they show them what's what, because they have the best voice that represents who we are and what we do. And so, um, so this always warms my heart. Uh, today is no exception. Uh, I'm, I'm spoiled because I get this feeling every day. I love that. Yeah. And tell folks where to reach out to you. You can find us, pineywoods.org, um, and there are opportunities there to apply if someone's interested in um, seeking a scholarship with us. There's also an opportunity to donate. All of our young people receive scholarship support from our donor community, um, and so every every donation makes a difference here, and so pineywoods.org, they can find us, or 601-845-2214, 601-845-2214, um, and somebody's standing by uh, to receive the call, and so, um, but if they really want to see us, go to Hulu, watch us. We're on right now. Okay, now hold on. Before you go right now, we're going to show you the trailer, <laughs> and then you wait until Live at 9 is over with, and we want you to watch the documentary right there. So watch it at 10, and here's the trailer right now. <laughs> it is fearlessness that enables us to put ideas into practice. One must be willing to go against the majority and be content to stand alone. It's a fearlessness for something bigger than you. I always thought about the good things in life. And I wish I can go back to that point where it was only good and never reality happening. When Dr. Jones created this, the students were building literally each building by hand. And all of that was around self-sustainability. The farm was what was sustaining them. Y'all remember like a year back, I was like, I want to go to Piney Woods. And then y'all was like, you better be ready. <laughs> hey, y'all, we in school. I feel like it's going to be a good day for real. I got braids. She got braids.
Every day I go through this thing of asking myself, you know, what am I really doing? And sometimes I just get lost in, like, what's happening. You make one mistake, now you're that mistake for the rest of your life. Let me be the mistake in peace. Many of our young people, they're searching for their place in the world. They want to be seen. I still prioritize education. It's a way of proving people wrong. It's a way of showing myself that I can do better than what I was told that I could do. Like, long suffer. Tell me what it means. <laughs> it means to, like, stick it out, stick it through. Like, to long suffer is to, like, stick with a thing. What would be the legacy of the school if, unfortunately, we had to close? That's just not an option. <sighs> We're the epitome of resilience and hope and all that good stuff, and you can't take that away.